Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Huawei has been subject to very severe sanctions from the United States. The four rounds of sanctions have made it impossible for Huawei to easily obtain technical support from the United States. Since American technology is not available, then develop it yourself. Huawei's annual R&D investment is getting higher year by year. Last year's R&D investment of 161.5 billion hit a new high, and the scientific research results it brings are also obvious. For example, the Kirin 9000S chip appeared and 5G network capabilities were restored. This attracted the attention of the United States, which wanted to investigate the source of chip technology. It turned out that this was a technology that was very unfamiliar to them. It seems that what Ren Jingfei said was not simple. Huawei counterattacks in desperate situation. Ren Jingfei has said that Huawei should learn from excellent American technology. In fact, before the United States imposed sanctions on Huawei, Huawei was a loyal user of American technology, and American technology can be seen everywhere in Huawei's software and hardware business system. The mobile operating system is Google Android, the computer operating system is Microsoft Windows, and the database is Oracle. We have close cooperation with U.S. companies such as Intel, Qualcomm, and Synopsys. This kind of cooperation is the basis for Huawei to go global. However, when the United States issued a ban that did not allow American companies to cooperate with Huawei, it would cut off Huawei's use of American technology. Even non-U.S. companies must abide by the rules as long as they use U.S. technology. For a time, Huawei was under tremendous pressure. Its overseas mobile phone market share was declining, and its chips could not be OE-med. As a 5G leader, it could only launch 4G mobile phones. Huawei moved forward with a heavy burden, shouldered responsibilities and pressures, and its hard work paid off. Huawei's many years of hard work finally saw the light of day and achieved a desperate counterattack. Starting from the second quarter of this year, Huawei's mobile phone business has returned, growing by 76.1% compared with the same period last year, ranking fifth in the domestic market. At the end of August, Huawei officially launched the Mate 60 Pro model. This is Huawei's big deal, because the model is equipped with the new Kirin 9000S chip, and also supports 5G network capabilities. These two items alone are destined to make Huawei's new phone extraordinary. As expected, Huawei's new phone has sold out and consumers are snapping up it, both online and offline. What is the result of the US investigation into Huawei's chip technology? The launch of Mate 60 Pro symbolizes Huawei breaking through the technology blockade of the United States. The United States is unwilling to accept the reality and doubts that Huawei used American technology to make its chips. But the United States has no substantive evidence, so the White House said it would investigate the mobile phone chips of Huawei's new phones to obtain more information. The United States investigated the source of chip technology and found that it was a very unfamiliar technology to the United States and did not discover the existence of American technology. The United States, which is still tough-talking, is still unwilling to admit the facts 
and frankly does not believe what kind of technology China has. In fact, as early as when the Mate 60 Pro mobile phone went on sale, US media conducted a disassembly investigation. Bloomberg cooperated with the professional organization Tech Insights to conduct disassembly and inspection of Huawei's new phones. Tech Insights concluded that the production location came from mainland China. Bloomberg reported that China is making progress in building a local chip ecosystem. The degree of U.S. chip blockade varies. Since May 2019, the U.S. government has imposed a series of sanctions on Huawei, including U.S. companies are prohibited from selling technology and equipment to Huawei, including key technologies such as chips and software. The United States does not export its own technology and has also reached an agreement with allies such as Japan and the Netherlands to set strict export control rules for chip manufacturing equipment. It is not easy to break through the Western camp. China does not know how much Huawei has paid, but judging from the results, Huawei did not disappoint. In the past few years, Huawei has launched a series of self-developed technological achievements, basically replacing American technology. The more restrictive the United States is, the stronger Huawei's determination to break through. This time, with the blessing of Kirin 9000S chip, I believe that Huawei's mobile phone business will also turn from crisis to safety. Ren Jingfei, peace is achieved through fighting. If it were not for US restrictions, perhaps Huawei would continue to use a large amount of US technology and maintain cooperation with US companies. While Huawei receives technical support, American companies can also earn more revenue, achieving a win-win situation. At this point, Huawei has no illusions about the United States relaxing its rules. As long as it has developed its own technology, no matter whether the United States relaxes or not, it will not stop Huawei from moving forward. Huawei's ability to have such an unyielding spirit is also related to Ren Jingfei's leadership. Ren Jingfei once said, Peace must be fought for, and we must fight hard to create a peaceful environment for the next 30 years so that no one will dare to bully China again. Ren Jingfei's words are not simple. When facing difficulties, Ren Jingfei set a policy for Huawei, cutting off marginal businesses and changing the pursuit of business scale to the pursuit of profits and cash flow. He wanted to spread the cold to everyone. In Ren Jingfei's view, this is Huawei's best moment. Only when there is pressure can there be motivation. In the past, everyone's wallet was full, so it was easy to slack off. Now, looking at it from another angle, the United States is helping Huawei grow. Otherwise, Huawei would not be able to launch the Hongmeng system so quickly, let alone rebirth in the chip field. Of course, Huawei still has a long way to go, and it still needs to move forward to continue independent research and development in chips and other technology fields, reduce its dependence on external suppliers, and improve its own competitiveness. Strengthen the research and development and application of 5G technology, as well as the layout in the Internet of Things, cloud computing and other fields to promote the development of technology and industry. The cultivation and introduction of technical talents is also a focus, thereby improving the company's technological innovation capabilities. I hope Huawei will continue to work hard 
and let the haze dissipate soon.